I'll be watching uh, the question of public housing and the provision of uh, low income housing by states and municipalities around the world uh, as the best form of solving uh, the housing crisis globally today. The thing that I'll be looking at the most attentively over the next decade will be the role of the state in facilitating a corporatization or commodification of housing, particularly public housing and social housing. We're seeing around the world in many post-welfare contexts, but especially places like Australia, the UK, the US, where we're seeing the state facilitate the mass transfer of public owned housing to the private sector for management exploitation. And what I suspect will happen in that regard is a for-profit model of social housing emerging in the next 10 years. So that's the one thing that I'm really looking at closely and how the state then also hands over various social welfare po portfolios such as homelessness, domestic violence, family care, all those sorts of things over to the private sector to do with what they want, which is make profit. I'll be watching the state of housing struggles and how they evolve to require governments to act um, in some way and then I'm most interested in how those governments do react. What, what, do they, what do they do? Do they take this call seriously and invest massively in an area that they've been neglecting globally for decades now or do they continue to put their faith in neoliberal ec you know, economics um, and hope that the rising tide will lift all of the boats. It's hard for them to do that because the boats are clearly not rising with them. Uh, so um, are they going to be prepared to let people go? That's going to be the question that I'm most interested in and what happens then? I think the aspect of the current housing situation that I'm most interested going forward is how citizens are organizing uh, to combat housing exploitation and housing precarity, how they are organizing to affirm their rights, to enact their rights, to exercise their rights um, against real estate speculation, against the commodification of housing, and against the use of housing to create vulnerabilities and difficulties that make people a lot less willing to affirm their rights and claim their rights in other areas as well. So I think, I think citizen mobilization is going to be a very big part of the story going forward and how governments, democratic governments, respond to that I think is a, an existential issue that we need to deal with uh, over the next coming years.